Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in. We're bringing you the Lenovo Vibe K5 and the K5 Plus uh, from the show floors at MWC. Uh, now the reason there's only one phone out here in my hands is uh, because the form factor of both the smartphones is the same. It's only in the display resolution and uh, the chipset uh, where you have the maximum difference. So of course, let's uh, kick things off with the specifications. Uh, the Lenovo Vibe uh, K5 has a 720p dis <coughs> Uh, the Lenovo Vibe K5 has a 720p display whereas the K5 Plus has a 1080p uh, display. It is of course a 5 inch uh, display. Now coming to all the other uh, specifications of the phone, uh, the Vibe uh, K5 has uh, the Snapdragon 415 SoC whereas uh, the Vibe K5 Plus has the Snapdragon uh, 616. Um, SOC. Uh, the rest of the specifications for both the devices are the same. You have 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of built-in storage with uh, micro SD expansion options and a 2750 mAh battery. At the rear you have the 13 megapixel camera and on the front you have the 5 megapixel camera. It's a dual SIM smartphone running on Android 5.1 Lollipop and uh, the smartphone of course boasts of uh, dual speakers at the back. Now you can't see the branding on this particular model but uh, it boasts of a Dolby Atmos output um, as we've always maintained maintained boasting of such sound technology on a phone might be a little unreal but uh, we'll wait for of course a review unit to uh, check that out coming to the pricing it is priced at $129 uh, for the Vibe K5 and $150 for uh, the K5 uh, Plus so uh, there you have it now coming uh, to the phone itself it's very lenovo uh, we've seen a lot of lenovo phones in the past and uh, the look and feel of the smartphone is exactly the same you have the lenovo banding at the back um, like i said before you have uh, the speakers here at the bottom uh, the front facing camera and the earpiece uh, the ui overlaying the operating system is also the same that we've seen on so many lenovo phones in the past um, on top you have a micro usb port and uh, the headphones jack there is no usb uh, type c connector out here and you do not have access to the battery either um, so let's just quickly give you a look at uh, the interface uh, like we've said it's very minimalistic something that we've always uh, seen with lenovo here is uh, the camera app let's just click a few uh, pictures and show you what that looks like so, of course, we're looking at this on the display of uh, the phone. Is it better than the K4 Note, Sai asks. Well, Sai, actually, there's no way to judge that right now since we are at the launch event, and I'm pretty sure this isn't a final unit as well. Uh, once the unit does launch in India, we might see a few changes in it, and we will, of course, review the device and tell you uh, whether it's better than the K4 Note or not. Um, on first impressions, it seems to be a fairly... A uh, decent phone. It uh, has all the trademarks that we've come to know uh, from Lenovo. Again, just to show you that it's uh, running on uh, Android Lollipop is uh, here. We will here yeah, under device information. As you can see, it has 2 GB of. Um, how much it's going to pay so the uh, phone is available in two variants of course we have uh, the vibe k5 and the k5 uh, plus and the current price is the global price as lenovo puts it is 129 dollars and 149 dollars respectively ishan so that is uh, the price of uh, the two uh, the two phones of course the only re the reason i have just one in my hand right now is because both the phones are identical barring the display and uh, the soc uh, so like I said, it's running on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and uh, if whether it's upgradable or not is something we'll have to uh, wait and see as to when Lenovo announces this phone in the Indian market. It is uh, It holds the standard candy bar form factor that we've come to see from uh, so many phones. You have the volume rock on the power button on the side and overall it just seems like a fairly decent phone. I mean the specifications uh, are okay as to what phones in this price range would offer yeah once again showing you the camera the rear camera is here and uh, seems pretty snappy the camera is really responsive uh, but then again we will tell you the image quality once uh, we actually get the phone in for review um, so there you have it this has been our uh, first look at the Lenovo Vibe K5 and
uh, the K5 Plus. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always uh, start commenting and I will try my best to answer them. Again, just to reiterate the specifications and the price, uh, the price is $129. The global price is $129 for the K5 and $149 for the K5 Plus. Um, on the specifications front, it has a 13 megapixel rear camera, a 5 megapixel front facing camera. <clears throat> Uh, and under the hood, uh, the K5 has uh, the Snapdragon 415 SoC, whereas the Vibe K5 Plus has uh, the 616 uh, Snapdragon 616 SoC. It has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB built-in storage, micro SD card expansion, and a 2750 mAh battery. Uh, yes, so that's what I just said. Uh, uh, the battery is a 2750 mAh. Also, the display on the Lenovo uh, Vibe K5 is a 720p and the K5 Plus will have a 1080p display. So there you have it. This was our first look at the Lenovo Vibe uh, K5 and the K5 Plus. Well, both the phones are the same in terms of form factor. It is only uh, the display and the SoC which will be different. Stay tuned as we will get you a more detailed look and a review of this phone once it launches in India. Uh, this is Samir signing off from the floors at MWC and stay tuned to digit.in slash MWC as we will get you all the latest announcements from the show floor at uh, from Barcelona, Spain, MWC. Well, that's it from me. Goodbye. <clears throat>